Welcome to a tutorial on how to start creating your own custom games on surrogate.tv with a Raspberry Pi. In this quick tutorial I'll show you how to set up a remote SSH connection to your Pi through Visual Studio Code. I will also guide you on how to create, run and modify your first custom game. Before you start, you should have our Raspberry Pi image installed as shown in one of our previous videos, which is linked in the description. There is also a written tutorial for the installation on our documentation website. Next, you should download and install Visual Studio Code. We use it for creating and editing the game code later. You could use some other code editor, but we chose VS Code as it has a really convenient extension for remotely modifying files from the Raspberry Pi. After the installation has finished, click here to open extensions and search for remote SSH and install that extension also. Now you should have this green arrow symbol on the bottom left corner of your screen. Next, you should enable SSH connection to your Pi. This can be done by connecting your Pi to a monitor and a keyboard and then following the instructions on the documentation page. First, log in with the default password of creator1337. Then enter the commands to change the default password to something you'll remember. Use sudo raspi-config to enable the SSH connection. Then you can use hostname-i to show your IP address. Alternatively, the same IP address can be found from your game's dashboard by clicking the name there. Copy or write down the address. After you have your VS Code installed and SSH enabled, create a game as shown in the earlier video tutorial. Then go to the bottom left corner of VS Code and click the green arrow symbol which says open a remote window. Then click connect to host, add new SSH host and type pi at your IP address. Then select save location and click connect. Then click continue and enter your pi's password which you just selected in the earlier step. Then on the left Click Open Folder, select Suro RTG SDK, click OK and enter the same password again. Now you should have the VS Code connected to your Raspberry Pi and you can edit the files and run commands remotely from your PC. Now you can open the Games folder and create a new My Game folder and inside that create a game.py file. This is the file where you can start writing your game logic. Let's start by copying sample game, which just logs the incoming user inputs from the WASD keys. Press Ctrl S to save the file. The code can be found from the written tutorial linked in the description below. To make the Raspberry Pi to use this code instead of current one, we must open a controller-rpi service file from scripts folder and change the environment game module to games.mygame.game. Press Ctrl S to save this file. Then click terminal, new terminal and run command sudo scripts slash setup dash systemd.sh to select the new game file we just created. Now you can run sudo journalctl-fu controller to see the current logs from the game. When you now play the game and press WASD keys, you should see some logs there. You can exit the logs by pressing Ctrl C. This was just a quick tutorial on how to get started with the game creation. In the future episodes, we are going to go more in depth on writing your own game logic and how to connect hardware to the Raspberry Pi. Please tell us in the comments what you would like to see. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.